What are your tips for, as an event planner, not packing up that stress and taking it home with you as, as a souvenir, as you say? Right. So one of the things that I know about adults is that we very rarely take the time to celebrate our wins. We are just mm -hmm. on to the next project. And for event planners, that's probably more true than anybody else because they're never just planning one event, right? It's mm -hmm. like you've got the one you're in and the two that you're planning and the one that you're following up on the feedback on, right? It's just you're constantly doing things in multiple planes. So it's very rare that we take the opportunity to really celebrate the end of something, completing mm -hmm. something, getting that satisfaction for ourselves. That's a big way of letting go like, ooh, I actually, that's done. That's done. How are we going to put a nice little bow on it and say that that is done? Sometimes that's all you say. That is, it is done. Woohoo! <laughs> right? Yeah, let's celebrate. Now, it's better if we get to say it's done and it was great. That's a bigger woohoo. But sometimes just celebrating the fact that it is done is enough. If you can celebrate the like the benchmark, it's done. It allows us to transition to the next thing. Like put it away, stop thinking about it. It is over. I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one who has dreams about things that are already over. <laughs> right? Yeah, me too. Right? right? It happens. But the more we put a bow on it and say it's done and put it away the less we continue to sort of ruminate on what we could have done differently. And that's all part of events, right? We're going to think about, you know, what we could have done differently, what we could have done better, what what do we want to keep for next time? You know, that is all part of it. But the celebration has to be part of it as well. And um, that's the biggest thing. If you have a ritual that you do for yourself, it could be an even an every day, whether you're leaving an office or just closing your laptop, like day is done. What's the ritual that you transition out of work? And there are some people who are saying, what do you mean transition out of work? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. It is hard, especially for those of us who run their own businesses, have a home office. It is hard to tell the difference between work time and not work time. But if you have some sort of ritual, it could be, I am going to change my clothes. I am going to play a certain song that I love to sing along with. Singing is a great stress reliever and it's great for transition. So if you're driving home, put on a great playlist and sing at the top of your lungs. I guarantee you will feel better when you arrive at your next destination. Um, the same goes for when you're putting a bow on that event and leaving the venue. Like what's through the tradition you have for yourself? Do you allow yourself to celebrate in a special way? Are you having a special beverage, a special treat, whatever? Are you, you know, scheduling yourself a massage before you leave property? I mean, I think that would be a great way. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really what are the traditions that you're setting for yourself, for your staff, if you have one, that allows you to transition from that high intensity work that you just did into the next location, next occupation. 